DARPRO Solutions presents the Fat for Fuel system. Caution items and operational tips. Only discard oil from the rotisserie and fryers after you have been properly trained. Follow your company's standard operating procedure for transferring rotisserie grease and fryer oil into the caddy. When operating the system, make sure to wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Before discarding the fryer oil, turn the fryers off, allow the oil to cool. DARPRO recommends cooling to a maximum temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not touch the hot hose and couplers without your safety gloves. Always push the caddy for better control when transporting hot oil. Always use the caddy with the filter screen. Never dispose of water or chemicals into the caddy or fat for fuel system. Only discard one fryer pot at a time. Never pour grease down the drain. Always wear personal protective equipment. This video training will include six segments. Discard rotisserie grease, caddy heater, discard fryer oil, transfer grease or oil to the fat for fuel system, clean and store the caddy, and troubleshooting tips. Now let's get started. Discard rotisserie grease. When discarding rotisserie grease from the oven catch pan to the caddy, ensure your work area is free of obstacles and be careful not to spill. Place screen in caddy. Be careful when transferring grease into the caddy. Put the caddy lid on before transporting. Remove gloves to keep caddy handle clean. For better control, always push caddy, never pull it. Caddy heater. You can store rotisserie grease in the caddy throughout the day. If grease is hardened, plug in the heater allowing the hardened grease to warm and return to liquid form. Now the grease is ready to be transferred to the fat for fuel system. Caution: Do not plug the heater in when the caddy is empty. Plug in cord at the base of the caddy. Plug cord into outlet. Light indicates heater is activated. Once grease is liquid, unplug the heater. The grease is now ready to transfer to the fat for fuel system. Discard fryer oil. Place screen in caddy. Turn fryer off and allow oil to cool. When ready, drain oil into the filter pan. Attach the rinsing wand. Rinse sediment from fryer pot into filter pan. Caution: Make sure the caddy and screen are dry before discarding hot oil into the caddy. Transfer oil into the caddy using the rinsing wand. Be sure to close drain valve. Transfer grease or oil to fat for fuel system. 
roll the caddy next to the fat for fuel system. Put on gloves. Swing overfill pipe over the caddy. Attach hose to caddy pump by sliding the collar back. Plug caddy cord into wall outlet. Push the green on button to transfer oil. The pump timer is set for three minutes. If caddy empties before motor shuts off, you can turn the motor off by pushing the red off button. Put gloves on before detaching the hose from the pump. The fitting will be hot. Reattach hose to overfill pipe and swing back to stored position. Unplug the caddy. Clean and store caddy. Rinse and dry screen. Avoid sharp utensils. Dry inside of caddy. Place screen in caddy. Replace lid and store in designated area. Troubleshooting tips. If motor does not turn on, make sure cord is clean and secure. Oil going through the pump must be free of debris and sediment. Failure to do so can lock up pump, causing the reset button to trip and motor to shut off. Debris will block the flow of oil and stop the pump. This will cause the thermal reset to trip, shutting the motor down and requiring the motor to be reset. If the white light on panel is on and the caddy motor still will not run, press the red reset button on the motor very hard until you hear a click, then test the motor. This concludes your video training on the Fat for Fuel system. For service or technical support, call 1-855-DAR-PRO-1.